Hey guys, this is uh, Hayes, uh, Mobile Auto Repair in Jackson, Mississippi. You guys know I'm mobile. So if I go to one of these big apartment complexes with, you know, a thousand complex, a thousand buildings, get your ass outside so I can find you. Ain't nobody got time for all that. Stand out, don't wait up in the house for me until I pull up. Just get your butt outside so you can wave me down because I ain't got time for that. H H J J Q X P building. I ain't, I ain't got time for that. Get your ass outside. I got things to do. All right, we're working on a Buick LaCrosse today, 2011, and she says she put a new starter on it. Obviously, like you know, everybody else, alternators and starters, and so it won't crank. So we're going to be looking at a no crank condition here. Okay. I got the little diagram up, I always get prepared. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but we got the mini relay, which is gonna be number 12. Starter relay, relay number two. So let's check it out. All right guys, I'm looking at the health report right now. There is not an engine computer on this health report. It's not even seeing there's a lot of codes on the body control module. You know, lost communication with the control module, lost communication with the control module. There is no engine. I'm just doing this for video purposes. Lost communication with the control module, the fuel pump, uh, parking brake, lost communication with the control module, lost communication with the control module. So, I do have the engine control, I do have a check engine light here, but, because it's dead, okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clear all these codes. But before I do that, I'm gonna talk to the customer let her know let her see all this all right guys we checked all the fuses all the fuses checked out good i checked the five volt reference at the mass airflow sensor uh, just to check the computer because i think i'm going to be going for a computer on this job i had my 4.9 volts so my my reference turned out to be good so the next step would be going for the computer checking the powers and checking the grounds okay so uh, before I do all that, I'm just going to go to the computer. I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to plug it back in. Maybe there's a loose connection. All right. What we've done is uh, after checking everything, I asked her to bring it to my house because I was expecting the PCM as being bad. But before I left, I said, let me go ahead and disconnect it and pull it out. And sometimes just, you know, scratching up the surface of the pins you'll get good connection and it'll start working again. And that's exactly what happened. You see it's running now. We're gonna shut it off, see if it starts up again. All right guys, this may or may not fix your car uh, because there's a lot of things to, uh, to look at when you have a no crank uh, condition. You know, starter, starter relay, a fuse, uh, security system, but this is what fixed this car. It was just simple, a no communication, uh, start looking for no communication symptoms like voltage on the five volt reference line. Uh, look at the computer, unplug the computer, plug it back in, but you gotta have a no-com. Uh, check for a no-com first. If you have a no-com, you can't talk to the computer or it says error, communication error on that. That's where you want to start looking. Unplug the PCM, plug it back up, cross your fingers, hope for the best. Uh, call someone that knows uh, a little bit about, about that kind of stuff. You know, like again, I'm not the only one out here in the streets that knows how to do a, uh, how to fix a damn car. There's a lot of shade trees out here. So shade trees, if you're out there and you listen to this video, Get your test light, man. Get you a little bitty scan tool. That way you can save people a little bit of uh, a 
of money. It's hard enough out here uh, already without you taking their money on replacing stuff that don't doesn't need to be changed. There's a people are struggling out here. They don't need you to take their two, three hundred, four, five hundred dollars if you're not fixing nothing. All right. So get your little scan tool. Listen to some YouTube videos. Educate yourself. If you can't go to school, find someone on YouTube that you respect. Uh, and listen to them, man, and they're gonna teach you a lot. Uh, that's how I got a lot of my my training after the military, is I, I watch YouTube videos, and the guy that I watch is Scanner Danner. Now, he's awesome. He's uh, been watching him since 2013, and, you know, because I could always tear down a motor and put it back together again, a transmission, and I could do the mechanical stuff, but he's taught me, uh, and I'm still learning, He's, he's taught me the majority of what I know about electrical systems. And I'm still learning, like I said. I'm not the best, but I, I do pretty good. So anyways, that's a wrap. You guys enjoy your week. Have a nice, Stay out of this heat because it's hot. And I'm out. Peace. Don't guess test, y'all.